Hello students, this is Vishal Sahib here. Today I am going to take a very important chapter, Logarithm. This is a chapter which is used in order to do calculations in a faster way when you don't have a calculator. There are some calculations which even a calculator, a normal calculator may not be able to do. Logarithm is helpful in that. This is a chapter which is presently not present in the 9th and the 10th standard of the state board and of the CBSC. But if we talk about ICC board, this chapter is included. Hence, in the NTSC examination, you find at least two questions which are based on logarithm chapter. This chapter is important if you are looking at in future with respect to doing research or if you are looking at high calculations, this is helpful. We are talking about, talking about uh, pharmacists, we are talking about in the medicine field, this logarithm concept is helpful in doing calculations. Okay. How it is applied? Applications, real life applications. I will share two or three examples. A. If you are to measure the earthquake intensity. Now, earthquake intensity we are talking about, it happens for a second or some building a building. Right? A microseconds, micro microseconds happens. That needs to be measured. The intensity needs to be measured in that logarithm is used. You want to find the acidic intensity of liquid, of acids. This is used. Okay. If you want to measure the intensity of sound, this is used. That's what is there. So in 11th and 12th standard, we are talking about science students, we are talking about commerce students, you all will have the chapter logarithm. And you all will be using logbooks where that will help you in doing the calculations faster. Okay. Uh, this is a chapter which is important and it is interesting. It is just a part that you should know the basic formulas and everything is easy in this. Okay. I'm sure after this chapter you will 100% be ready with this chapter. Okay. Do like the video after finishing the class. Okay. It will be a moral boosting. Now, I'll tell you how it goes about. If I say, what is 2 raised to 1? What is the answer? 2. What is 2 square? That is, what is 2 multiplied by 2 or 2 into 2? It is 4. What is 2 cube? It is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. It is 8 goes on, if I ask you what is 2 raised to 10? What is 2 raised to 10? Anyone? Yes, it is 1, 0, 2, 4. Everyone should know the powers of 2, at least to 2 raised to 10, because this will be helpful to you in doing the calculations faster, helpful in logarithm, helpful in the chapter certain and indices. And in real life, we are in the world of computers, we use, the computer is used binary system. We are talking about the space given in your pen drives or in your hard disk. They are measured in KB, MB, GB, which is basically powers of 2. Okay. So it is 1024. 1024. But what if I said what is 2 raised to 100? You will not be able to do it directly. Even a calculator does not answer that. For that logarithm will be helpful to us. Okay? Now, before we go about the logarithm concepts and everything, this chapter is indirectly related with exponential. It's making your exponential values easier by using logarithm. So I would like to revise the indices formulas or laws and then we'll look at the uh, logarithm laws. Okay? What we learned in search indices, the laws of indices. First one, what is any number raised to zero? One. Right? Any number raised to zero is one. 
10 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 0 is 1, every number raised to 0 is 1. Second, if I have a number a raised to m and then b raised to m, what does it become? It becomes the base are different but the power is same. So I can multiply the base together keeping the power same. Third one, I have the base same but the power different. Then it becomes a raised to m plus m. Fourth one, I have a raised to m divided by a raised to m. What happens in this case? Whenever we change a numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator, the power becomes negative. So it becomes a raised to m minus m. Okay? The same thing if I had done the reverse, 1 by, it will become a by n minus m. Whenever we change the numerator denominator or denominator denominator, the power becomes negative. Fifth one, a raised to m, and it becomes a raised to m multiplied by m. Next, if I have an nth root of a number, what will that become? Nth root is written as a raised to m, I keep it as it is. I make a bracket here, and nth root means 1 by n. 1 by n. And when there is a bracket, I can multiply. So I get as a raised to m. Okay. These are the basic laws of indices that you should remember. Okay. Similarly, based on this, you have laws of logarithm that we'll look into it next time. Fine. First thing is purpose of logarithm. In order to solve questions faster when it is higher power. Okay. How to go about it? We'll see into it now. Like for example, if I had said I written in the exponential form. How do we read it? A raised to n is equal to b. Fine. So when I'm doing this in logarithm form, this is written as this is written as log of b to the base a is equal to m. Log of b to the base a is equal to m. This is what I have written in this form. And I am writing the same thing, I am doing it in this way because you should remember both the ways. You should know conversion of an exponential to logarithm and logarithm to exponential. How do I read the logarithm? Log of b to the base a equal to n. How do I convert this? It is, how does it get a conversion? I write it again. I write it again for understanding. If it written as log of b to the base a equal to n, I want to convert into exponential form. What I do? A pushes n on top. A pushes n on top and log goes. It becomes b is equal to a raised to n. That's the thing that you should remember. That makes your calculations easy. What does n represents here? What does n represents here? It represents the power. n represents the power. So basically logarithm is giving you the power value. Okay, that's if you remember these words, the logarithm is the power value, and probably some of the questions you'll be able to do it orally. Fine, okay? we'll see. If I say 10 cube is equal to 1000, how do you write in logarithm form? What does the logarithm form does? It write it in this form, it will become what? Log of Thousand to the base ten is equal to three. 
to the base 10 equal to 3. So 10 becomes the base here and 3 is the power. Okay. Now try for 10 raised to 5. Third one. Try for 0 0.01. Try for 10, uh, 0.001. I'll give you the value in decimals. How do you do these questions? Okay. So 10 is to 5. What is 10 is to 5 basically? It is 1 and 5 zeros. Right? 1 and 5 zeros. Right. So what we have this, how will write in logarithm form? It will become log of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the base 10 is equal to 5. What is 0 0.01? It is, if we remove the decimal, it becomes 1 by 100. What is 100? 1 by 10 square. 1 by 10 square. I come to laws of indices. What happens when I take n on top? It becomes negative. So this will become what? Written as 10 is to minus 2. This is 10 is to minus 2. So how will I write this now? I got 10 is to minus 2 is 0 0.01. Converting into logarithm. How will I get this as? Log of 0 0.01 to the base. 10 equal to minus 2. Okay, equal to minus 2. Next one, that is 1 by 1, 2, 3. 3 decimal places have to move. 1 by 1, 2, 3. That is 10 raised to minus 3. Right? That becomes 10 raised to minus 3 means log of 0 0.001. To the base 10 is minus 3. Okay. That's the way of converting an exponential value into log value. Now, let's do the reverse. We'll convert a log value into exponential. We'll try. Fifth one, if I say log of 32 the base 2 is what? The question is asked, what is log of 30 to the base 2? How will do this? I'll make this equal to sign as n. Remove the log. It becomes what? 32 is equal to the 2 pushes n on top. 2 raised to n. What is 32? 32 is 2 raised to 5 is equal to 2 raised to n. Therefore, what is n? Left hand side equal to right hand side, n is equal to 5. Okay? Sixth one. Log of 1, 0, 2, 4 to the base 2 is equal to n. I know it's the base 2 value is given to 1, 0, 2, 4. What is 1, 0, 2, 4? It is to the power 10. You can do it directly, orally. But doing the step by step, what is the next step for this? What is the conversion? Alright. 1, 0, 2, 4 is equal to the 2 pushes n on top. It becomes 2 raised to n. What is 1, 0, 2, 4? It is 2 raised to 10 is equal to 2 raised to n. Therefore, left hand side equal to right hand side n is equal to 10. Fine. That's the way you have the second type of question. What is the first type of question? I had a value in exponential form, I convert into logarithm form. Second is I had a value in a logarithm form and I have to find the value of n here. Okay. Where we are converting into an exponential form and getting the value of n. Okay. There's a second type of question. Third type of question is that you will have to find here I am finding n value. Some one cases you can have is you have to find the value of n 
You can have a question where you have to find the value of A, you can have a question where you have to find the value of B. And next you can have that you have to simplify a question. I will take an example for finding a value of A and finding a value of B. Seventh one, if I say here 625 is equal to N. What is the answer now? It will become log, I will remove the log, it becomes what? It becomes 625 is equal to 5 raised to N. What is 625? You should know powers and numbers. I said to you in the previous class also that you should know powers and numbers because that is something which will save your time in calculations. Powers of 2 up to 12, 2 raised to 12. Powers of 3, powers of 4, powers of 5 till raised to 6. So you should know powers of 5 till 5 raised to 1, 5 raised to 2, 5 raised to 3, 5 raised to 4, 5 raised to 5, 5 raised to 6. Ah, enough. If you know this, your calculations will be faster. 625 is 5 raised to 4. That becomes 5 raised to n. n is equal to 4. Okay? Question 8. I say log of x to the base 3 is equal to 4. What is the value of x? Convert into exponential form. It becomes x equal to 3 raised to 4. What is 3 raised to 4? 3 multiplied by 3? 9. Multiply by 3? 27. Multiply by 3? 81. So x is 81. Next type of question. Question number 9. It is log of 32 to the base a is e 5. So now, what I get? The move the log, 32 is equal to a raised to 5. What is 32? 32 is 2 raised to 5. So this becomes 2 raised to 5 is equal to a raised to 5. Left hand side equal to right hand side, a is equal to This is the basic type of questions that you get. Then one, if I say find what is log of 1 to the base a, what is the answer? I will do this, we will put it as say n, next what you get, on the log, 1 is equal to a raised to n. This is something that you should remember. I have not given two values on purpose because it's true for all answers. When is power of any number equal to 1? Let's say if I take a as 2. For a equal to 2, what will this become? 1 is equal to 2 raised to n. For what value of n is 2 raised to uh, power of 2 equal to 1? It is n equal to 0. Same way, if I take for a is equal to 3, it is 1 is equal to 3 raised to n, for n is equal to again 0. This is a general formula that you should remember. Okay. Now, I will write the laws of logarithm and some properties of logarithm. Okay. Copy this part first. First thing that you should remember is for log of b to the base a equal to n okay, which gets converted into what form? b is equal to a raised to n fine now can b be equal to 0? is the any power of a number equal to 0? If I say 2 raised to 0 is 1. 2 raised to minus 1 is going to be half. That is again 0.5. So it will never become 0. So B cannot be 0. B powers and numbers are not negative. Okay, when 
A is positive. So what you should remember that B is always greater than 0. Okay. B is always greater than 0. What about A? A value is the base. Can I have this as negative? Can I have this negative value? Will, what is the answer I will get here? Okay. The power n can be positive negative. n is a real number. But can I have minus to the power n? Yes, I can have that. So what you should remember is these two values can be real but b has to be greater than c. Okay. Now, how do we go about logarithm is some laws of logarithm or some rules of logarithm that you should remember. If I say the base a, it is basically your log of b by log. The simple part that you should remember. Okay. The, the two log, the two variables can be removed and separated. Second one, if I have log of b written I will not given a base by default we use base 10 so it is equal to log of b the base 10 like when we have a square root we don't write a value 2 it means a square root okay. next third one if I say log of P multiply by Q. Okay. P multiply by Q to the base A. It is log of P to the base A plus log of Q to the base A. Fourth one. Log of P divide by Q to the base A. It is log of P to the base A minus log of q to the base a. Fifth one, log of the base a p raised to n. This becomes, so when p raised to n, p in an exponential form, then the n comes in front of log. Log of If you look at the law number 3, 4, 5 are very much similar to laws of indices. Right? In that also, whenever the power is there, it's multiplied it there, then we add them. When the power is divided, we're talking about division, then it is subtracted. Right? This is the thing that you should remember. Okay? Sixth important law that you should remember is if I have what is log of 1? the base A, log of 1 to the base A is going to be what? Zero. Any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. That is, you should remember as a basic loss which will be helpful to us in doing our calculations. Okay. Let's see number 7. If I have A to the power log of n to the base a is given as n. This looks a little complicated. Let's derive it and check it out. Okay, because in the exam you can even get derivation in your school exams. Let's put log on both the sides. What we get? Log of a to the power log of n to the base a equal to log of n. Next. Rule number 5, what happens to the power? It comes in front at multiplication. So we we'll take the power, I take it as log of n to the base a into log of a equal to log of n. Okay. Next step, what happens when it is to the base a and n written? Rule number 1, I can separate them out. I'll separate out as log of n by log of a into log of a equal to log of n. The 
log log gets cancelled. I get log of n equal to log of n. Left hand side equal to right hand side. So this is something that you should remember in order to make your calculations faster. Okay. Also, I repeat again. What is when I say log of b? When no base is given, it is base. It's a very basic thing that you should remember. Okay. Based on these concepts, we will look at some of the questions that you get in the examination and solve them. Okay? So I'll give you four or five questions in exercise. You solve them first, and then we will discuss and solve it on the board. Okay? So I write the question. After looking after that, you can pause the video. Okay? Okay? Let's solve these questions together. Okay? And you have to check your answers whether they are right or wrong. Okay? First question. Log of 100 to the base 1000 equal to n. What is the fastest way of solving these questions? Convert the log into exponential form. It is given as log of 100 to the base 1000 is equal to n. It becomes 100 is equal to Thousand pushes n on top, it becomes thousand raised to n. What is hundred? It is ten square. What is thousand? Thousand is ten cube raised to n. Next step, applying the laws of indices, it becomes ten square is equal to ten raised to three multiplied by now, the base are same, 10, 10, so I can equate the power, 2 is equal to 3 into n, therefore, n is equal to 2 by 3. Fine? That's the way to solve this question. You can even solve it by observation. How? We have log of 100 to the base 1000. So what is 100? 10 square. What is 1000? 10 cube. Therefore, answer is 2 by 3. Okay? 2 by 3. This is 10 square. This is 10 cube. Answer is 2 by 3. Okay? So this is another way of doing it faster. Question 2. Log of 4 to the base 16. Log of 4 to the base 16 is equal to n. Push 16, we push n on top, we get 4 is equal to 16 raised to n. 4 and 16, both are powers of 2, or else I can even take the power of 4, 4 square is 16, but let's say powers of 2, it becomes 2 square is equal to 2 raised to 4 raised to n. It becomes now 2 raised to 2 is equal to 2 into 4 multiplied by n. The base is same. So 2 is equal to 4 into n. n is equal to 2 by 4. That is half. Okay. Orally, this is 4 raised to 1. This is 16. That is 2 square. So answer is directly it is 4 is to 1. This is 16 is 4 squared. Answer for this is half. I'm not saying equal to. I've drawn an arrow. It is half. I'm fast about doing it. Question 3. Question 3. Log of x square minus 1 to the base 2 is 3. Fine. It's an algebraic expression form. Remove the log. It becomes x square minus 1 is equal to 2 cube. 2 pushes 3 on top. What, we, what is 2 cube? 2 cube is 8. Therefore, now solve it further. x square is equal to, take 1 that side, it becomes 9. x square is equal to 3 square. x equal to plus or minus x is equal to plus or minus 3. 
right? That's the way we get the answer. Because what we know is N can be positive, can be negative. But here we know that the base cannot be negative. So answer is X equal to A. Okay? Fourth question is log of 1 by 16 to the base 2 is equal to L. Remove the log. 1 by 16 is equal to 2 raised to n. What is 16? It is 4 square. 4 is 2 square. So 16 is 2 raised to 4. 2 raised to n. Let's bring, it's in a fraction form, let's bring 2 raised to 4 on top. It becomes 2 raised to minus 4 is equal to 2 raised to n. Using the laws of indices. Now the base is same. Therefore, n is equal to minus 4. Okay. Easy enough. We are solving it less than 10 minutes. I give 5 questions. Some of the values you can use, do it directly orally also. Like here I have done orally. Here I have done orally. Last part of our exercise. Question number 5. 1 by log of 60 to the base 3 plus 1 by log of 60 to the base 4 plus 1 by log of 60 to the base 5. My students, put a star for this question. This question has been repeated many times. Or else, the values are changed but the principle or the type of question is same. It's very important. Now, it is 1 divided by log of 6 to the base 3. What we know as per log? That we can separate the two elements. How do I do that? 1 by log of 60 by log of 3 plus 1 by log of 60 by log of 4 plus 1 by log of 60 by log of 5. Right? Now, it's a fraction form. 1 by a by b can be written as b by a. I take log 3 on top. I get log 3 by log 60 plus log 4 by log 60 plus log 5 by log 60. The base log 60, log 60, log 60. I can take it common. It becomes log of 3 plus log of 4 plus log of 5 divided by log of 60. Okay? What happens in log when there is a plus sign? When there is a plus sign, I can combine them together. That is, it becomes log of 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5 divided by log of 60. What is 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5? It is log of 60 divided by log of 60 that is 1. It was such an easy question. Okay, it was such an easy question. How did I do it? I checked what is 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5? It is 60. Log 60 by log 60. Answer is 1. This type of question has been seen many times. So, logarithm is a chapter which is used to make your calculations easy and faster. For logarithm, there are various laws of logarithm that you should remember. And you should also remember the laws of indices. As we can do the logarithm questions faster by converting it in the form of exponential. And thus question becomes faster. Later we will do more exercises on logarithm. We will do problem solving and see the different ways the questions are asked. And what is the faster way of solving and calculating this. Okay. Fine. Go through the concepts again. Revise. And we will meet again. Do like the video. After you finish your video watching and do subscribe and hit the bell button so as to get an updates.
Have a nice day.